Over 100 million people live in the stunning archipelago of the Philippines. However, the ever-growing threat of climate change threatens this utopia. Communities are severely damaged by super typhoons, increasing sea levels, and unpredictable weather patterns. The Filipino way of life is in peril, as houses are destroyed, lives are lost, and livelihoods are at risk. Nevertheless, hope persists despite the destruction. Filipinos are renowned for their tenacity and will to fight back. We're going to look at the large-scale infrastructure initiatives the Philippine government is putting in place to create a future that is climate resilient now. These projects, from modernizing electricity infrastructure to constructing elevated highways, are made to withstand the worst effects of climate change. But infrastructure isn't the only issue. We'll also learn about the roles that communities and individuals play in building a more resilient and sustainable future. Come along with us as we explore the core of the Philippine effort to combat climate change. Let's examine the problems, the answers, and the tales of optimism motivating a country to weather the storm. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Now, let's get started. The Philippines is perched on a very thin edge. On the one hand, it has incredible natural beauty with immaculate beaches, verdant rainforests, towering mountains, and colorful coral reefs. On the other hand, it must confront a harsh reality. The archipelago is already severely affected by the threat posed by climate change. Super typhoons, a terrifying sign of a changing climate, are regularly occurring. The most significant storm to ever make landfall, Haiyan, devastated the central Philippines in 2013, killing over 6,000 people and uprooting millions more. Ondoy released its wrath four years later, causing enormous floods that buried significant portions of Manila and the neighboring territories. 2020 saw Ulysses bring another round of disaster, exposing the vulnerability of coastal towns and leaving a trail of ruin in her wake. These are not singular occurrences. The average yearly frequency of tropical cyclones in the Philippines has increased by 24% since the 1970s, according to the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, or PAGASA. This increase is in line with rising sea levels, which are expected to submerge coastal communities and force millions more Filipinos from their homes by the end of the century. In addition to typhoons, increasingly unpredictable rainfall patterns are another sign of the changing climate. In many areas, rainfall variability has increased by up to 40%, resulting in flash floods and protracted droughts. These extremes jeopardize the fundamental underpinnings of Filipino life by endangering food security, water resources, and agricultural livelihoods. The effects of climate change are profoundly human in nature and environment. According to studies, climate-related calamities cause the Philippines to lose between 1.2 and 2.4 percent of its GDP annually. This corresponds to missed economic activity, agricultural losses, and infrastructural damage costing billions of pesos. Although these facts and tales are bleak, they are not meant to be signs of impending doom. Instead, they act as a harsh wake-up call, forcing us to acknowledge the need for immediate action. The foundation of the Philippine economy and society, its infrastructure, is in jeopardy due to climate change. It's time to adopt a fresh strategy that puts sustainability, resilience, and the welfare of future generations first. The Philippine government has made tremendous strides in addressing the problems caused by climate change, emphasizing the improvement of infrastructure resilience these efforts cover a broad spectrum of projects and activities meant to lessen the effects of severe weather occurrences and create a more sustainable future. Their flagship Build, Build, Build program was introduced in 2017 to develop vast infrastructure to improve connectivity, spur economic growth, and create jobs. The initiative focuses on building and maintaining highways, bridges, seaports, and airports. It also aims to construct irrigation systems, dams, and flood prevention techniques. The Build, Build, Build program has increased power transmission and generation capacity, emphasizing renewable energy sources. The initiative completed 11,610 infrastructure projects by 2022, adding 9.5% to the nation's infrastructure stock and creating 1.5 million direct jobs. Furthermore, the program has prioritized including climate-resistant elements in new and old infrastructure. These comprise of seawalls and elevated roads that shield coastal communities from flooding and storm surges. There were also bridges resistant to flooding built to endure powerful currents and prolonged downpours. According to the National Economic and Development Authority, or NIDA, 
the Build, Build, Build initiative has substantially contributed to the nation's economic expansion. The Philippine economy increased by 7.6% in 2022, which was among the highest in the area. Through public-private partnerships, or PPPs, the Philippine government aggressively involves the private sector in infrastructure building. This strategy uses private capital and experience to expedite the completion of important projects. One prominent example is a 24-kilometer NLEX SLEX connector road connecting two crucial Metro Manila freeways. Under a PPP concept, a group of private enterprises are developing the project. When finished, it'll significantly enhance traffic flow and shorten travel times within the city. Additionally, the government funds particular initiatives to address specific climate concerns. The Coastal Towns Climate Change Adaptation and Mitigation Program aims to increase coastal towns' ability to withstand storm surges, rising sea levels, and other climate-related threats. The Philippines is working with foreign partners to get financial resources and technological know-how for building climate-resilient infrastructure. Among these partners are the World Bank, the Bank for Asian Development, the Global Climate Fund, and the Japan Agency for International Cooperation. These collaborations allow the Philippines to execute significant projects and access best practices in constructing climate-resilient infrastructure. The government has set aside a sizable sum to further its goal of building climate-resilient infrastructure. The government set aside 754 billion Philippine pesos, or almost $14 billion for infrastructure construction in 2022. Recognizing the long-term economic benefits of a more sustainable infrastructure system, the private sector invests in climate-resilient projects. The Philippines needs to make these investments for a future without climate change. The nation can better endure the effects of climate change and safeguard its people, economy, and environment by building robust and resilient infrastructure. Creating a climate-resilient Philippines is a vast undertaking that calls for cooperation and dedication from all facets of society. In addition to corporate sector investments and government-led infrastructure projects, every Filipino significantly impacts creating a future where communities prosper despite climate change. Many people are leading and promoting an environmental stewardship culture throughout the Philippines. Mangrove replanting efforts, a natural barrier against storm surges and coastal erosion, are enthusiastically supported by the people living in coastal towns. Farmers use agroforestry and other sustainable land management practices in highland areas to lessen their reliance on landslides and droughts. Programs like Marakina City's Panalo Sabaha, or Winning Against Floods initiative, show the effectiveness of community-driven action. As an example of other vulnerable towns, the city has dramatically decreased its flooding danger through structural upgrades and public education initiatives. Filipinos are using technology in the digital age to take an active role in addressing climate change. With smartphone apps like Project NOAA, people may make educated decisions during emergencies by receiving real-time flood warnings and evacuation notifications. Crowdsourced data platforms such as Agambayan facilitate the collection and exchange of environmental data by citizens, thereby enhancing scientific research and providing valuable insights for policymakers. Social media sites have also developed into effective instruments for promoting awareness and inspiring action. Youth-led initiatives like Gaia Natin and Fridays for Future are raising the voices of the younger generation and pressuring decision makers to make climate action a top priority and create a more sustainable future. A long-term outlook is necessary to build a climate-resilient Philippines, and education is essential in influencing the attitudes and knowledge of coming generations. The National Curriculum's inclusion of climate change education gives pupils the knowledge and abilities they need to become responsible citizens and proactive change makers. Teachers and students are empowered to instill a sustainable culture in schools through programs such as the Climate Change Education for Sustainable Development Initiative, Students can learn about climate change, its effects, and possible solutions on engaging platforms through interactive learning modules and community-based initiatives. Every small decision you make, such as switching to sustainable buying habits or taking part in tree planting campaigns and beach cleanups, helps create a more robust future. Individuals may collectively make a big difference by pushing for climate action and lowering their carbon footprint. 70% of Filipinos are willing to take personal action in response to an Asian Development Bank survey conducted in 2022. This illustrates how much positive change can be sparked by group action through community empowerment, technology use, educational investment, and individual action promotion. 
Filipinos can shape a future in which communities actively participate in creating a more resilient and sustainable nation, while also being ready for the effects of climate change. But what do you think about the Filipino government's efforts to create a climate resilient future? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.